So lately I've been getting a lot of questions when it comes to saving to an external drive in Resolve. Now I have a video on it and this is where all the questions are coming from. People are saying it's really complicated to back your project up on external drive and I agree with them. So I thought today we could do a somewhat of a workaround. It's not perfect, but an easier way to back up your project when working with an external drive. At the moment, we're actually in the local database. So I'm not using an external drive. And this is important. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go into any old project. So we'll just go to this Mad Max one. So now we're in that project. And again, this is still our local drive. We're not working in that external drive. So the way I figured this is that this isn't perfect and it has some problems, but it is a lot easier than doing the external drive. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna export this project to that external drive. So we're gonna go up to file, we're gonna to go to export project. Now this is my external drive here and I'll just make a new folder and I'll call it test for saving. Double click that and then come down to save. So now we have that project saved. So here is the problem. I'm gonna make an adjustment in this ratio clip here and I'm gonna make a really ugly adjustment so we know what the problem's gonna be. So if we press Control S to save our project, so now our project's saved, we can go back to homepage in Resolve. Now this is our project on our local database, but we wanna be working in the one that is saved to our external drive. So we can, I mean, we don't actually have to get out of this. We could just save in that file, but that's okay. We can right click and we can go to import project. Then it's come up with our Mad Max one that we saved to that external drive. Again, this is my external drive. Double click that. Now it's gonna say copy of, so we'll leave it as is, copy of Mad Max. So now we go into that file or project. So this is the project that we're working on from the external drive. But as you can see, the ratio hasn't actually changed as in that adjustment we made to that node hasn't come across because it was around about here. So obviously that hasn't worked. Autosave isn't saving to that external drive. So that is an issue, but there is a little bit of a workaround. And again, it's not perfect, but it is easier than setting it up when it comes to your external drive. So what we can do, go to DaVinci Resolve up here, preferences, and we'll go across to user. Now under project save and load, this is where we're gonna make our own autosave. Now I haven't figured out how to change my autosave to go with external drive, but we're gonna do a little bit of a workaround. We're gonna use backups instead. And I know this isn't perfect again, but bear with me. So we're gonna click this box for project backups. Now under perform backups every, I'm gonna change it to, I'm gonna say two, two minutes because I like to autosave a lot just in case I lose my project. Now for my backup location, you could probably just keep this in your local drive, but if you wanted to use your external hard drive, let's go to browse, come down to our external drive here. Now I've already made a folder as backup, so double click that, resolve backup projects. I already actually have some in here, so I'll make a new folder, to make it more obvious. Call it backup two, very creative. And then we'll go select folder. Now every two minutes, Resolve is gonna make a backup of this project, which is essentially making an autosave of our project. So let's click save, and we'll make that adjustment in our ratio. So again, there is that really horrible adjustment we've made, something you're not gonna use, but this is obviously for the test. Now we just have to wait till that backup has done its business, and then we can come back and see if the project has caught up with that node adjustment we've made. So two minutes has gone by and it looks like we have a backup project. So let's go back to our homepage once again. We're gonna find that project we were working in. So copy of Mad Max, right click it. We're gonna to go to project backups. So we have our copy of Mad Max here. So load this one up. Now this way you wanna change your name so you can change anything you want. So we'll call this, please work need money to feed myself. Click okay. Did that load? Yes, that's really strange. So it doesn't actually get off. So just double click it there. So let's go back into our project here, double click. And we have that adjustment made. So it has actually made that adjustment for ourselves. 
Now I haven't moved this hard drive to another computer, so I can't really test it in that way. But I do believe this will work because everything is saving to that external drive. So this shouldn't be a problem. If it doesn't work, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can do some other workarounds when it comes to work when it comes to working with that external drive. I know a lot of people don't like the way you have to connect and reconnect with that external drive, which makes a lot of sense. It's a little bit complicated, but this is my workaround at the moment. So let me know if this isn't working and I'll see if I can do something else. And let me know if you want to see something else. I really enjoy trying to fix problems when it comes to resolve. So I hope you have a great night and thanks for watching.